Originally, of course, this building was a Methodist church. And history has a habit of repeating itself. It's interesting that the Methodists also had a real struggle trying to get this building established here in Clitheroe. In fact, we even hear reports of uh, violent encounters taking place. And they had really quite a hard time trying to get themselves set up here. So it's interesting that the Muslims are not the only ones struggling to get themselves established in this town. There's a little bit of a history of it already. I'm very sad that the mosque will be opening. But I'd really like, <laughs> it's not, not because I want the, a, a mosque and other religious places to, to flourish, I'd rather them all closed. Like if you're in a place like Blackburn, then they're used to it. But like here, it's not as far away from Blackburn, but it, it's just seen as like a quiet town where everyone's together, everyone knows each other. They don't want a lot of new people coming in. Especially. Certainly my generation and, my, uh, and, and the generation after me have uh, spent a lot of time in the community, building bridges, working with the local community, establishing interfaith groups. Uh, the first interfaith scout group in the country, uh, we chaired the Community Cohesion Group, which is a a group of the local strategic partnership uh, and worked with the police, went on residentials, took you know, non-Muslim kids, Muslim kids, giving them opportunities. And in time, I think a lot of people have seen that we're actually uh, a very positive uh, addition to this community. We are part of this community. We work not just for the common good of the Muslims, but of the wider community. And I think people have grown to accept us as a result of that, uh, such that when we went to uh, the uh, planning hearing in December 2006, uh, there was something like uh, maybe more than 200 people there to support the masjid and the vast majority of them there to support the application were actually from the non-Muslim community and I think that's testimony to the hard work that we've done and how far we've come to actually demonstrate that Islam is a good thing for the community. Uh, I've known Shiraz a number of years uh, and I was involved in the, uh, the, the campaign to, to get planning permission for the uh, the conversion of the the building uh, in, into a place of worship and a, a community centre for the uh, for the for the local community. All the other religions have their places of worship, um, some of which act as community centres or are attached to community centres. Mm -hmm. And I didn't see why one group should not be allowed mm -hmm. to have a place where they could meet and worship. A quite a large group from Ripple Valley Radio and I know uh, the headmaster of our children's school, he written a letter in support as well and knowing the work that Shiraz and Farouk do in the community, particularly with children, cubs and scouts um, and the cricket, um, we understood it that uh, the centre was to be um, complementary to that and be fully inclusive to the whole community and not just a place of Muslim prayer. It all started with the uh, off offer of a new building. Um, uh, unbeknown to everyone in the town, including the Muslims, the Methodist church when it came on the market, that's Mount Vale, was actually being used to manufacture hijabs and the owner of the building was a Saudi businessman. <laughs> Well, as it happened after a few meetings and a bit of a negotiation, the brother offered it for the sake of Allah to be used as an Islamic dawah center. Unfortunately, for the last couple of years, it's remained um, dormant and it's now incumbent upon all of us to make sure that £250,000 is raised so we can open this center and make it what it's supposed to be. It's quite frustrating at the moment that uh, two years on, the, uh, the, the building's still in the same condition uh, and, and I think there's a feeling that you know, we really need, new need to see some action because uh, otherwise it's a real lost opportunity I think for, for both the, the Muslim community and the, uh, the community as a whole. We've all seen the negative uh, stereotyping uh, over, over the years. Uh, there's an opportunity there for a, an excellent building uh, in, a, in a nice central location to, uh, to, to provide that opportunity uh, and, and I feel yes if we don't if something doesn't start to happen soon then it will become a negative rather than a positive because there are plenty of people sat in the on, on the wings waiting for nothing to happen to say yeah we told you so we gave them the chance and and the community didn't didn't, didn't act upon it
So, you know, the Muslim community in this town is a very, very hard-working community, but obviously, you know, it's a small community and they are relying very, very heavily upon the support of the brothers and sisters out there. And not only is it the Muslims that, you know, obviously are relying on the support, but the non-Muslims, you know, they've been very, very influential in helping us to get the planning permissions for this because they realise that, you know, the masjid isn't just a place of worship for Muslims, end of story, but it serves as the hub of the community. It can only benefit everyone that lives in that community and it can help to engage and bring communities together, particularly in the current climate where there's a lot of sort of, you know, animosity towards different faith groups. Hopefully, you know, the masjid that we're actually, you know, hoping to develop here will do such good work and bring everyone across the community together. But the problem that we have now is we have this building, we have planning permission, we have building regulations, we have everything, all the drawings are ready, all the technical side of the construction plans, everything is ready and all we need now is the funds to actually make this facility a reality, to actually refurbish the building, do the necessary remedial works to actually open the building for you so we can continue to do, uh, well not, not just realise uh, the aspirations of our forefathers, uh, and of our future generations of, of having a place to pray in their own community which is, which is absolutely fundamental on what's driving us but also in order to do all that great work consolidate that work that we've done in the community uh, and you know continue to demonstrate that Islam is such a good thing you know in this building we can give da'wah to the people it's such a fertile ground for uh, raising awareness of Islam as a faith because the people in this town the Muslims and especially the non-Muslims are so receptive to what we have to say. You know, they've, they've not just read about Islam, they've not just heard about Islam, but they've actually seen Islam through our actions and the work that we've done in the community. And they recognize that Islam is a good thing. So, you know, let's not lose this opportunity because, you know, if we don't get this facility up and running within the next 12 months, you know, because it's been so long and people are beginning to ask questions and they want to know why is the facility not opening, and be, suspicions are begin, beginning to be raised about you know, whether you know, it's all hot air and the mosque isn't reality at all uh, in this town. So you know, we're basically asking for uh, everybody hearing this call, hearing this message uh, to you know, really support us. You know, we, financially, we need that support to get this building up and running. And there's so many opportunities in this town. You know, I strongly believe that Clitheroe will be a beacon for all other Muslim communities and masjids up and down the country because we have a really good model of uh, establishing a masjid to service the needs of the Muslim community but also the needs of the wider community whilst always remaining true to the principles of Islam. So my brothers and sisters in Islam, we urgently need your support to make this project a reality. Clithero, the community needs your help now, especially in the month of Ramadan the person who builds a masjid, he would be getting so much reward. If you can help, call the donation hotline 0208-963-1415. I repeat, 0208-963-1415. Or log on to clitheromosque.org and donate and make this project a reality. Mm -hmm.